one really big challenge that comes with adding online multiplayer to a game. Synchronization. In other words, making sure that everyone in the same lobby or server is seeing the same thing. Sort of. Let's take two netcode solutions, one known as delay-based or lockstep, and one known as rollback, which is what I'm using for my game, Impound Rumble. In an online game, your computer sends and receives information, usually just your controller inputs in the time they were initiated, to the other computer or server if there happens to be one. Since it takes time for information to reach its destination, there are inherently going to be some issues that need to be taken care of. When we establish a connection, our games do a little handshake to figure out approximately how long it'll take for information to reach the other person. Say, at the start of the game, both me and my partner start moving. Immediately, we've desynchronized our games because on my screen, they haven't started moving yet, and they don't start moving until I receive their inputs over our connection. The same also goes for their side of the game. So, even though we should be moving together, on my side, I'm ahead, and on their side, they're ahead. To fix this, we inject some input delay into our own computers to compensate for the time it takes for those inputs to be received. If we inject 30 milliseconds of delay and it takes 30 milliseconds for input to reach us, then when we try to start moving at the start of the game, we're both delayed locally and the games appear in sync. If it takes longer than expected for our information to travel, longer than the delay we've already accounted for, then our games might start to freeze while they wait for the other input to be received. Worse or farther connections lead to more freezing, which can only be accommodated with more input delay. For obvious reasons, if you have a fighting or shooting game, something that requires precision and fast reactions, this is abysmal, nigh unacceptable. Which is why Rollback Netcode was invented, and it's become the industry standard for fighting games as a whole. To compensate for the still inherent travel time of our data, a small amount of delay still might be injected, like 30 to 40 milliseconds, but now our games will not freeze when waiting for input. They'll just keep going and assume whatever input was last received is still the same input that's being executed. In Rollback, each tick of the game state is stored as some set of data that's quick to store and restore. If we receive an input that's different from what was being assumed, then we go back to when that input happened, and if our game states look different at that frame, then we simulate each of the frames after it in one frame's worth of time. Basically, we pull a magic trick where everything looks like it was where it was supposed to be the whole time. It's a lot more complicated to implement and a lot more demanding on a device, but it's worth it because now we can play with people that live way farther away while still feeling like we're playing offline because the information travel time, latency, is no longer compensated with input delay. Of course, you might notice some teleporting or jittering because of the game state restoration, but most of the time, you won't. I'm still glossing over a few others, but that's just 